Hello, my name is Andy and I am the Village Idiot. I'm armed with a car and a GoPro and an unhealthy amount of time on my hands. I'm using that time to attempt to visit every civil parish in England. You're watching the Newark and Sherwood series, a district of 84 civil parishes right in the centre of Nottinghamshire. Come with me as we delve into one of them. Hello folks, welcome back to Newark and Sherwood. Now I plan to do seven villages on this particular day and this is the only one of the seven which is a linear affair. You know how I don't like those, the others are circular. Thankfully this is also the smallest and our first landmark here is pretty obvious because it's the church and you'll find that in Hockerton. This Newark and Sherwood video is sponsored by Past Days, a family history blog by June Terrington. You'll find a link in the description. Here's my disclaimer for people who may be watching me for the first time. I say things as I would in my native accent and dialect. As a result, I may not pronounce things in the same way as the locals do. Remember, I'm a visitor. It's impossible to know everything. Leave me a comment, spin me a like and bash that subscribe button. Let's get to today's parish video. Here's a unique little place on the A617 between Newark and Mansfield. This is Hockerton, which is two miles from the town of Southall. The name Hockerton is Old English and contains a word for a hill, Hocker, which makes this hill or hump settlement. That makes sense because it literally is on a hill, albeit not the steepest one we've ever encountered. Most people just drive through this place to get somewhere else, meaning there are few who know its secrets. It has less than 60 houses consisting of converted barns, a 19th century rectory and some more modern housing from the 1960s and 1970s. They're all situated around a church and a pub. However, what makes this one special is how some of its newer houses are built. You see, to the untrained eye, Hockerton looks like any other rural Nottinghamshire village, but hidden away behind that normal exterior is a collection of properties which are rare in Britain. Part of the village contains the Hockerton Housing Project, the UK's first earth-sheltered, self-sufficient ecological housing development. To go with it, in 2009, a group of residents formed Sustainable Hockerton, which is known as SHOCK for short. They installed a wind turbine on Hockerton Moor that generates electricity equal to that used by the village. The surplus is then distributed within the parish. Let's go and find it all, shall we? We begin on Church Lane, which is a small cul-de-sac off the main A617. Here you're looking at the parish church of St Nicholas, Norman in origin, with an aisleless nave and a 14th century chancel. The building was damaged during the Civil War in the mid-17th century. The roof was repaired using oaks from Sherwood Forest. James Fowler restored this in 1876, but since then it's not been altered. Since 2016 it's been closed and the ecclesiastical parish has been merged with nearby Kirklington. The rest of Church Lane is residential, most of it mainly modern detached housing. There's not much more to see down here so let's head for the A617. Virtually opposite the church is a former Methodist schoolhouse. This is now a tiny village hall. And speaking of schools, Hockerton used to have one built in 1843 by Major General Wetham. Hiding away behind those trees by the way, is a 19th century rectory. Okay, as linear as Hockerton is, it does have a couple of side roads, and on the corner of one of those side roads is the pub, and that's called the Spread Eagle. That's our next thing to talk about. The 
The Spread Eagle, Hockerton's one and only pub, has been operating since the 1930s. Last year, this was saved from closure by Natalie and Blake Beresford, a couple from Hucknall near Nottingham. Villagers feared it could have been turned into housing, but it's now reopened and continues to serve the village. Next we have the parish notice board, underneath which is a wooden village sign, which was hand carved by Beckett's Woodshop. Pretty neat. Let's leave a card on the board. That's 68 down in Newark and Sherwood now, and only 16 to go, folks. After this, we continue walking west up the A617. That takes us past a phone box, empty unfortunately, and a bus stop which is not in use. The only thing of note left now is Christie's Interiors. This is an interior design shop, and this little courtyard also has a cafe called Big Jack's Little Kitchen, as well as an adventure shop for dogs, whatever that looks like. So we've reached the end of the village after the uh, interior shop. It runs off down the A617 and out towards the next place. So a really small one, and you might think that's it, but it's not, it's not because to the other end of the village, there's something very interesting that you don't find in every village. Let's talk about that next. It's the Hockerton Housing Project. On Hockerton Road to the village's southeast, you'll find a stream. That's Hockerton Dumble, which flows south, merging with other streams before entering the Trent. It's also the road where you can find Hockerton Manor Farmhouse, one of five listed buildings in the village. We've come down here though to see the Hockerton Housing Project on Gables Drive. Now this is a private estate so I didn't venture any further in than the entrance. This is a small community of five earth-sheltered homes designed by green architects Professor Brenda Vale and Dr Robert Vale. They use renewable energy, including solar-powered heating and wind power. Carved into a tree trunk here is a wind turbine. All of the residents' food is grown on site. The homes were completed in 1998 after three years of planning and 18 months of construction. They cost around £65,000 to build. Hockerton Moor is the area to the northwest of the village on the border with neighbouring Winkburn. It's the location of a few local businesses and the wind turbine which was installed by Sustainable Hockerton, or SHOCK for short. Any surplus electricity this makes is distributed within the parish. Also on Hockerton Moor is an industrial estate that has a business called Storm Saver. They too are ecologically minded because they make rainwater harvesting equipment. It was founded by Michael Farnsworth, who developed a passion for water conservation during his time as a university student. His early product concepts turned water from the River Trent into drinking water, and they were a success. Now it's a big business, and environmentally important. And lastly, there's also a farm shop on Hockerton Moor too, Maxie's, which sits on the A617 between the village and neighbouring Kirklington.
So of course that's one bunch of properties I wish I could get closer to but of course you have to respect their privacy and that is as close as I dared to get to them just in case anyone was watching or CCTV was around. I don't want to upset anybody. So uh, hopefully you got the idea anyway. That's the Hockerton housing project. And that has been the parish of Hockerton, a very small one here in Newark and Sherwood. And the next one is also quite small as well, but there's a bit more meat to it. There's a few more landmarks to see. We'll head there right now. I've been Andy, also known as the Village Idiot. This has been the parish of Hockerton, and I'm out.